uh, hey guys, it's me the Raj again from Survival Bows. This is, um, once again, I forget the part we're at, but this is the next part in the Hickory Longbow Build Along series. Now, last part we made the handle and I said we were going to do the tillering next, but I realized I wanted a little bit of a reflex on this bow, which also means I'm going to send you back it, so just scrap what I said in the last episode. Um, and I decided to do a different way. I've never steam reflex before, but I doing it for the first time. I did the first limb already. I'm only putting some reflex into it. You can see it's still steaming a bit, but um, not much, you know? Just just a bit of reflex in there. You know, give it a try. And it worked really well, I have to say. I never knew that steam reflex would work so well, but now you can see that that limb is decently reflexed. So now it's this limb's turn. So you can see I have my whole apparatus here. I have no forms for this, isn't it? I'm bending this hole by hand. Hold on. Give me a moment. So, if you guys can see now, what I do is I keep the part I want to reflex under that. And it, it's it for five. I, I said I left it for five minutes, and five minutes seems to do the job. So what I do is I leave it under there for about five minutes, and the water, I leave it in ha half of it's in boiling water, and the other half's in steam, so it's getting kind of both. So what I'm going to do is just leave that for five minutes and then show you guys after it's done. Okay. Okay, so guys, it's been going for almost five minutes now. I'm going to let it out soon and do the bending but I won't be able to show you that part because I need both hands sorry I was supposed to have a cameraman Matt come over and help me but he got busy at the last second so you know what are you gonna do but it's okay I'll still show you what I did afterwards it shouldn't it's not too difficult I can explain everything pretty easily so it's almost ready and I'm gonna pull this out and then uh, reflex the limb and then show you guys the effect All right. Okay, guys, um, so sorry about that, to, um, but I couldn't film while reflexing the bow's bow, unfortunately. It was just too much. I needed both hands. So I measured it out. Uh, both limbs have approximately two and a quarter inches of reflex. I'll show you. Um, the reflex starts right there. I made a tiny little black dot. It goes out, and that's about two and a quarter inches. Hold on. The way I measure it is that you would take the way I did it is I you would take that then I take something of about 8 inch length and then uh, span it across so how about this I'll just get that I'll just get the piece of wood I used and show you so I'll be right back so yeah guys as I was saying I basically just used this random piece of wood that I have which is pretty straight it's actually from an old uh, short bow that I broke <laughs> But it's pretty straight, so what I did is I just uh, put it there and then measured it from there um, with that. And actually, I kind of measured it incorrectly because I just redid it again. Both limbs are, sorry, one and a half inches, not two and a quarter. I don't know why I measured it incorrectly. But that's still fine. But um, so as you can see, the reflex there. And the same reflex there. And the way I went about doing it was that since I don't have any forms, I as soon as I took it out of there, I'd use these um, heat protective pads and just put pressure on the spot I want to reflex. And it seems to work well enough, so that's good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, see you.